uh, what does it mean to you to become only the third Oregon State player in the College Football Hall of Fame? It means everything. Um, you know, I was a walk-on at Oregon State. <clears throat> um, only the third person is, is uh, pretty crazy to think about. You know, there's uh, a lot of players that have gone through Oregon State that may have been better than I have been. But uh, to be honored and to be uh, a part of the, you know, the Terry Bakers and Dennis Erickson's, everybody uh, involved with the school is a, is a very special thing for me personally. It's the uh, highest honor I can get. I'm not making the Pro Football Hall of Fame, so uh, this is the this is the top. This is the top of the mountain for me, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah, you talked about being a walk-on. Uh, what was that like? What was your mindset going into being a walk-on, and what made you be successful? Yeah, it wasn't easy. Uh, that's for sure. Um, you know, it, it's it's a funny thing because I was the player this the offensive player of the year in the state of Oregon. Um, <clears throat> so I had no offers from, you know, the Portland State, smaller schools, anything. So I had no really offers to play football in college, uh, except for walk on So it really came down to Oregon, Oregon State. Um, I chose Oregon State because it really had the civil engineering background that, uh, that I'm in now. Um, so that's kind of how I ended up at Oregon State. Uh, and then once I got there, it was just, let's, let's see how I can do. Uh, let's let's go, you know, to the highest level and see what I can achieve. Would I th have said that I would be here right now talking about it? No, but uh, things progress. Uh, you evolve as a player. Um, and, uh, I worked hard to get there, so um, you know, it, it's been a lot of fun. What's that hard work? Did you ever think? Did you ever see yourself becoming a first-team All-American and winning the Whitnikoff? No. So goals. My first goal was to get on the field. Um, and I did that on special teams like my freshman year. Uh, my next goal was to play on offense. Did that my sophomore year, <clears throat> get a scholarship. Uh, and then goals evolved, like I said. So the next goal was to you know, be all Pac-10 at the time, um, and then to be an All-American, and then to win a national award. Uh, then your goal is to go to the NFL. So um, it was kind of every year just a progression of uh, setting new goals, and uh, luckily being able to achieve them. Was one of those your proudest accomplishment uh, at Oregon State or was it something else? Say that again, sorry. What was your proudest accomplishment? Was it one of those things you mentioned or was it something else? Proudest accomplishment, um, there's a lot of them. Um, obviously the winning the Blitnikoff Award uh, personally was a huge accomplishment, probably the biggest um, accomplishment that I had in college. Um, but also, you know, going to Oregon State, being a walk-on, uh, being All-American, winning the Blitnikoff Award, getting a civil engineering degree, uh, all of that in one uh, is probably the biggest accomplishment uh, that I could point to in my time there. You mentioned your coaches. Who else had a big impact on you? State? Yeah, so Dennis Harrison was there originally when I walked on. So he was the one who, uh, quote unquote, invited me um, to be a part of the team. Uh, it was right after the Fiesta Bowl. Um, Eric Yarber. Uh, he's with the Rams now, I believe, the wide receiver coach there. Um, <clears throat> he's a guy that I point to as being one of the most influential guys that I had, um, especially being a young guy uh, and building confidence and teaching. Um, you know, you need confidence to play the game. You need to be taught the right way to play the game, uh, taught some tricks and tips and things. Uh, then obviously Mike Riley came in. Um, <clears throat> I didn't make a great impression right away. Um, but I made the right impression at the right time. Uh, and then his offensive mind and putting me in positions to succeed with my quarterbacks, with Derek Anderson and Matt Moore, uh, obviously good quarterbacks, which helps my cause. Um, those, are, those guys are all very influential to uh, where I am today. Um, so looking back, what are some of the things you remember most from the time at Oregon State? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, that was a long time ago, <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> Really, you just remember the teammates. Uh, I remember, you know, not only the games, but like, you know, the practices, the, the hard practices, the two days back when we actually had them. Um, <clears throat> going through those with the guys and some of the crazy things in the locker room I can't talk about, but uh, it's really about, uh, you know, the guys and the people you're around. Uh, and then the school in general, obviously, met my best friends today from there. And, uh, you know, all those are the best memories that I have. Um, going back to January when you found out you're going into college football, mm -hmm. how did you find out and what was your first reaction? 
Yeah, it's kind of funny because uh, <clears throat> my wife and I have been married for, uh, I should say this right, six years, I want to say now. And uh, <clears throat> we actually are on, we're on our honeymoon. Six years later, we planned it. She got pregnant. We planned it again. She got pregnant. So we finally were on our honeymoon, actually. Uh, six years into marriage, we were in Jamaica. And I get a call from Scott Barnes, who's the athletic director at Oregon State. And uh, one of my buddies, Brent, was like, so I kind of had my phone off out of the country kind of thing and he's like you need to take this call when it when it comes in i was like why why can't i do it like next week when i get back you know uh so scott barnes calls me and he's like hey uh i just want to let you know you made it into the college football hall of fame i was like like the big one right like not not oregon state hall of fame that's a great honor all that but like the college football hall of fame you know he's like yeah i was like wow and it was just like uh i was sitting outside and i just kind of just sat there and just looked at the ocean and I could I really couldn't believe it because um, like I said it's the greatest honor that that I can achieve um, as far as playing football. You had to go back to campus your on campus salute uh, what was it like getting to you know celebrate your hall of fame in front of the fans? Oh it was great it was great to be back it's always great to be back uh, we've got Jonathan Smith there now uh, who played at Oregon State so he's a former player uh, we have a lot of the same people um, that were at Oregon State when I was there um, so it was really cool to see all of them. It's a, uh, you know, it's a family. It's kind of like home again. Um, we had some years in between there that were a little different, but uh, you know, getting everybody back, uh, being appreciated by the fans. You know, it's been, you know, 15 years now since since I played there, so they still remember me, which is uh, memorable for me because, uh, you know, it, like I said, it has been some time. Uh, I got to take my son down on the field. Uh, that was pretty cool. He's never been on the field. He's never been in front of a, uh, a stadium full of fans and things. So, uh, you know, that was probably my favorite part, to be honest, is taking him down there. Um, so it's more about him than me now. But um, to be afforded that opportunity was, was a great honor. You mentioned Smith. They're doing pretty good this year. Um, have, you thought, have, you, have you felt about his performance so far? Uh, better than expected, <laughs> that's for sure. We all knew he's a great coach, great person. Um, you know, he, what he took over at Oregon State was um, well below average, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and he's taken them to a nine win, possibly a 10 win football team uh, in about four or five years. Pretty incredible. He's got a great staff. Um, he's just a great guy, great mind for football. Uh, he led the Oregon State Beavers to the Fiesta Bowl title against Notre Dame when he was the quarterback. So uh, it's just awesome to have him back and be really successful. It's, it's fun for me to watch as a former, former player. And last question. We're, we're in Las Vegas for the uh, induction dinner. They're actually going to be playing in the Las Vegas Bowl on December 7th. That's right, yeah. Uh -huh. um, how do you think Oregon State will turn up here in uh, this great city? I think they'll show up. Um, it's not hard to get people to come to Vegas. <laughs> That's the first thing. Um, and then we got a good opponent in uh, Florida, uh, an SEC school, uh, who beat Utah earlier in the year. Um, so it's a really good matchup. I think it's uh, one of those, one of the better bowl matchups uh, in the bowl season outside of the college football playoff. Um, so I'm excited for it. I know Beaver fans are excited for it. Um, Florida's a long ways away, so hopefully they don't travel as well. Um, but uh, I think the Bees will show up. Awesome, Mike. Well, thank you very much. Awesome. You know, thank you. Appreciate it.